Hello and welcome to my class. I'm your English tuition teacher. Today we will discuss the lesson A Letter to God written by G.L. Fuente. The first part will be the summary of the lesson. The second part will be a brief analysis of the lesson. And the third part will be the character sketch of Lencho and the character sketch of the postmaster. This lesson is about a simple farmer named Lencho and his unwavering immense faith. In the beginning of the lesson, the writer describes Lencho's house, the only one in the entire valley, sat on the crest of a low hill. From this height, one could see the river and the field of ripe corn dotted with the flowers that always promised a good harvest. Crest is the top of a hill. Now we know that Lencho's house was on the top of a hill. It was a secluded house far away from the town and other residential area. When the short story begins, Lencho's cornfield is almost ready for harvest. Lencho has worked very hard in his field day and night and now all he is waiting for is a downpour or at least a shower. Lencho's family consisted of his wife, his older sons who helped him in the field and the smaller ones who were too young to work in the field. Lencho's wife is also a believer in God. That's why she says God willing when Lencho tells her that it's going to rain just as Lencho had predicted, big drops of rain begin to fall. Lencho is happy. These aren't raindrops. Big drops are 10 cent pieces and the little ones are fives. But to his disappointment, the rain turns into hailstorm. The small boys are happy collecting the hailstones to play, but now Lencho is worried with a reason. When the hailstorm passes, his cornfield is a ruin. This year, we will have no corn. No corn means no food, no money. But Lencho's family did not lose hope. God was their only hope. Though Lencho was a simple farmer, Lencho knew how to write. So, Lencho had a plan. He would write a letter. He would take the letter himself to the post office and post it. Who was the letter addressed to? Can you guess? The letter was addressed to God himself. Does Lencho believe that God can send him a money order? Of course, Lencho does. Though God knows everything, Lencho writes all the details and asks God for 100 pesos in order to sow his field again and to live until the crop comes. Lencho goes to the post office, puts a stamp on the letter, addresses it to God and posts the letter himself. In the post office, the postman who collects the letters laughs. The postman in his entire service in the post office has never ever seen a letter that was addressed to God. Now how is he going to find the address? The postmaster, a fat amiable fellow, was impressed by the faith of the simple farmer. The postmaster knows that God is not going to send Lencho any money order. But what if Lencho does not get his money? Will he lose faith in God? The postmaster doesn't want that to happen. God need not come in person to help a human being. He can send another human being to help those who are in need. So. The postmaster himself decides to help Lencho. So, 
the postmaster collects money from his colleagues and friends the postmaster also contributes a part of his own salary but he is able to collect only 70 pesos which is 30 pesos less than what lencho had asked god the following sunday Lencho comes a bit earlier to the post office. The postmaster himself gives the money to Lencho. Lencho does not even show a sign of surprise. He knew God was going to send him a money order, right? But instead of that, he gets angry after he is done with counting the money. God cannot make a mistake, can he? He cannot deny Lencho's request. Such was Lencho's faith on God. Can God send him 30 pesos less than what he had asked him? Lencho gets a paper and ink and writes a letter. Again? To God? Yes, of course to God. Lencho drops the letter into the mailbox and leaves. As soon as Lencho leaves, the postmaster opens the letter box and reads the letter. What do you think the letter will be about? Thanking God for his timely help, saving his family from hunger, helping him to sow and grow his plants again? What do you think will be the subject of the letter? Definitely something nice, right? And what the good-hearted postmaster reads is, Don't send the money to me through the mail because the post office employees are a bunch of crooks. Lencho. Lencho thinks the post office staff stole the missing 30 pesos. Now we will analyze a letter to God. A letter to God is a simple story with a humorous ending. We need not complicate the story by analyzing it deeply. This is the kind of story that you will remember for a long time. What do you think is the theme or the moral of the story? Some might say that the moral of the story is no good deed will go unpunished, which means even if you do something good, people will blame you instead of acknowledging you. But the theme is the unwavering faith of Lencho. Lencho believes that God will help him and that actually happens. Now the postmaster did not help Lencho for name or fame. This incident is not going to change his good nature. He will continue helping others. The postmaster also works hard to keep Lencho's faith intact. So the theme is Lencho's faith. There are two important characters in this story, Lencho, the simple farmer and the good-hearted postmaster. We will analyze their characters one by one. Now we will discuss the character of Lencho. We all know that Lencho is a man of faith. He goes to the extent of writing a letter to God, just the way small children write letters to Santa Claus. Lencho was a hard-working man. Lencho was ox of a man, hard-working, like an animal in the fields. But he knew how to write. Lencho was an experienced farmer. He knows his field intimately. He is a responsible husband and a good father who is worried about feeding his family. He is not greedy. He asks for money only for sowing and living till the crop comes. Lencho calls the post office staff crooks. He thinks that way because he does not know the truth. His belief in God is more than his belief in the post office staff. Now we will analyze the character of the postmaster. The postmaster was a fat, amiable man, a good-hearted man. The postmaster himself is a believer in God. He wishes he himself has such faith and hope the way Lencho has in God. Though he laughs at Lencho's letter along with the postman, later he realizes 
the great faith of Lencho and he wants to help him. Along with collecting money from others, he contributes a part of his own salary. He does not reveal the truth to Lencho. He hands over the money to Lencho as if it was sent by God himself. He does not want to reveal his true identity. He wants to remain as an anonymous helper. Now we have come to the end of this session. Bye, awesome student. Have a good day. See you next class.